near and dear to me, which is I love to cook out, I love to barbecue, I love camping, I love all that stuff. But what I don't love is a nasty fire that you can't put out. This is called Fire Aid. One of the coolest products I've ever seen. We have the inventor, you're gonna meet him in just a sec. Um, and he's gonna come out, his name is Ron Thames. He's been in the business for what, 37, 38 years? And he created a two pack of the most amazing fire extinguishers you will ever see. And what's great about him is there's no fancy footwork to try to get it to go. All you simply do is point and spray. All right, that's all you gotta do. And it will extinguish a fire and it'll do it in a non-toxic way. If you love to barbecue, if you've got, uh, if you're worried about grease fires or fuel fires this is perfect while I got the fires here I think I'm going to go ahead and put them out should we do that first and then we'll get then we'll get Ron because I don't want the fires to extinguish so these will work from about 15 foot of reach and we've got three fires going here and I'll do the first one and I want to show you how quickly that extinguishes a fire all right you want to see it again and you can go right to the end and put it all out I'm going to do fire number two watch how fast and I'm about I'll stand far away I'll stand from here so I'm about 10 feet away and I want you to watch how quickly that will extinguish that fire. Ready, fire number two, done. All right, fire number three, you wanna see that one too? Should I do it? Let's do them all. Are you ready? And again, 10 to 15 feet away. You don't want to get too close to the fire. And you want something quick, not something you got to pull the plug on. I'm not telling you to get rid of your regular fire extinguisher, but get these two because at $27.95 for two of these, amazing. Ready, fire number three. There it is. And I am done. Isn't that awesome? And it will completely extinguish. I just put out three fires. And you know, when you're doing fires at home, you want to make sure they're out, especially if you're doing bonfires at the beach and things like that. And I'm going to use this entire can. And I just put out three fires. Think about in an emergency, how awesome that is. And I only use one can to put out all three fires. You're going to get two of these. Let me introduce you to our special guest. He's a good buddy of ours. By the way, these have a five-year shelf life. He's the inventor of the product. As I said, he's been in the business for a long time. His name is Ron. He's joining us live via Skype. Hey, Ron, welcome to the show. Hey, good morning, guy. You're doing great. I mean, why do I need to do anything when you're doing such a wonderful job? Thank you. <laughs> well, you got a real fire burning outside. And Ron, sometimes, you know, we only have seconds to put out a fire, right? Correct, correct. And this is the product very, to do it. Yep. Well, guy, we're very excited about that. We want to change the way people think of a fire extinguisher. The majority of the time, they're one scared for a, to pull a pin and everything else. This is clean. Guy, you just said it perfectly. We have a pretty good little fire going here, and what I'm going to do is what you did, but boom. That's a big campfire. That's a big old campfire, one that you do not want to leave hot wood and go back home. So we're going to have a product that you can have in your kitchen and around your home that is clean to use, unlike regular powder, guy. This yeah. is awesome. Yeah. And we have removed the worry of a fire extinguisher as you just did earlier guy that one's about out on itself but you know you did it perfectly and what i love about what you did guy you have not been in the fire service till you met me <laughs> you just simply took it the ease of it you made it look perfect and i appreciate that very much no you know what you, ron you developed it and you made it easy because i said before there's a lot of people out there that buy a regular fire extinguisher we're not telling you to get rid of your fire extinguishers you need those in your home but when Correct. you're in a pinch and you got literally maybe just a few seconds to put a fire, especially, you know, like grease fires in, in your kitchen. I mean, by the, time you, by the time you get down there, Ron, and you start pulling the thing and trying to figure out, and half the people don't even know if their fire extinguisher is up to code or if it's been updated, you can grab one of these cans and you can put that fire out quick. And what I love about your product, Ron, is it doesn't make, leave a, the mess that a regular fire extinguisher leaves. You gotta have the whole house cleaned. With this, it's very contained. Perfect. You, you just hit on every single point, guy. If you have a small fire, the key, the NFPA, the National Fire Protecting Agency, says there are 475 fires a day on cooking. Can you just imagine 475? And what you want is something that's not threatening to you, easy to use, guy, 
and doesn't leave any residue as water-based and non-toxic. Yeah. You just hit on every single point. Hey, you know, Absolutely. I, I told you once, uh, Ron, you know, I used to work in the restaurant business many years ago. Yes. And uh, yes. we had a grease fire in the kitchen. It was an Italian restaurant up in Connecticut. We had a grease fire in the right. kitchen at about 8 o'clock on a Saturday night. And the automatic fire extinguisher powder things went off. We right. had to close the kitchen for two days. That stuff went everywhere. I mean, I've never seen all over the place. It even was in the dining rooms. It was that bad. And, and, and now, granted, we needed to have the fire extinguished. But if, if my boys, if this was around back then, I could. they would have grabbed it. They could have put that fire out quickly, and they could have done it in a non-toxic way. I don't know what's in regular fire extinguishers, but I don't know. I don't know what it is, but I know you designed this product not only for home use, but even professionals use your product. It's, it's just so quick and so easy. And heck, it can, it can save your bacon. You know that. Guy, yeah, i tell you one thing. You just did a wonderful job. You hit on all the good points, and you're exactly right. But I really, really enjoy the story you tell, Guy, about your son or you down at the beach, and they yes. had covered the, the fire. Tell, tell us about that uh, one. That, That's you really good. That's a, you're right. And, and I, was, I, I totally forgot about that one. It's, it was a long time ago, but it was pretty bad. Uh, so my son belonged to a camp, a local camp uh, down here, which was a, kind of a beach camp when he was a little kid. And so one, right. uh, and I didn't, you know, the kid, they would hang out at the beach, do stuff. So anyway, they would go to the to the beach, uh, to the regular camp at the pool. Then they would walk over to the beach. And apparently the night before, some of the members of the club had a gathering and they had a bonfire on the beach. And what they did is when the fire uh, kind of died out, they just kind of put some sand on it and thinking that that was gonna extinguish the, extinguish the fire. My son got second degree burns on his knees because like any kid, he saw a hole in the ground and it had sand in it because you couldn't see the, the coals. He jumped in, knee first, burned his knees. Let me tell you, I almost, I almost got, I almost owned that club, <laughs> but I, but I said, kid, things happened with kids. You know, I was like, I, it's okay. Danny was all right, but for about four weeks, he had blisters on his knees. And if those Correct. folks, and you know, they didn't do it. It wasn't intentional. They just didn't think. They didn't realize kids were going to be coming there. And if they had the sense to get a can of one of these, all they'd have to do is just get out there, douse it. Because this extinguishes not only the flames, but it'll, it, it, it extinguishes the coals as well. That's correct. And, you know, I want to point out one other thing on how clean our product is. I'm going to spread into this uh, just a little plastic cabinet. It's water-based. And if you'll notice, it just leaves just the foam, just the area. But look, there's nothing on the sides, guy. Yeah. This is perfect for the home. That's water-based. That's where you clean up. You clean that up with a cloth, and that's all there is to it. There you go. It just wipes right up clean. And unlike a dry powder, yeah. you have powder. You have It's all over the place. You can have a small fire, guy, a small little fire. What we want to do is remove the tension, the worry of pulling a pin. We have designed a brand-new head now. The applicator is so easy. The, the customer just places their finger and pushes the button. Let the product do the job. This is not a fire truck. It's not. All we're trying to tell you for a small fire, this is what you want in your home. We're so excited that we have a twin pack, and this twin pack gives the customer two units right now on HSN. It's perfect ready to go, ready to be shipped to you today. Place your orders, we're ready to ship, they're in stock, and it's, it's, it's amazing. It's ready to go, it's awesome. I, you Just know what? push yeah. it, and you no don't... expiration. You, you don't need any special instructions. I love the fact that I don't care where you're from, how old you are, because even, even a child can use this in a pinch. And I would, I would definitely instruct your child where this is if there's a fire, because everybody, you know, we, you're, I don't think you're too young to put out a fire as long as you stay away from it. Obviously, you, 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 your own kids, you, you teach them things. But I know my son knows how to use his fire extinguisher since the time yes. he was little. And, and pushing the button is a heck of a lot easier, and it's a lot quicker. And that's really the key is getting to it as quickly as possible but none of us want to be left with a three-day cleanup afterwards this is instantaneous Perfect. i mean the minute i got three we lit three more fires here ron i'm gonna do them again just to show you okay and i got a fresh can here i've already okay. put out three fires with one can and remember 
to putting out three fires with this can, that's that's enough for me because the chances of me having a fire are, are pretty minimal. Even though Ron explained a lot of people have dealing with fires. Hey, listen, I've had fires in the house. My, when I was a kid, one of the Christmas trees out in front of my parents' house lit on fire right against the house because we were using the old school bulbs. You know, that was back in like the 70s where we were using right. those old burned up bulbs and they would light evergreens on fire. What about Correct. holiday season, Christmas trees, things like that? All you need to Absolutely. do. Absolutely. Let me show you. Give it a you shake. Know Go ahead. I'm going to do, do my again. fires here. Give it a shake. Right? Right. I don't, I don't have to even have to get that close. Ron said I can That's go like right. 10, 15 feet away. <laughs> That's and all you have to do. That's it. Go ahead, one. guys. Do it. Look, I'm even getting the ones on the ground. There's two, and there's three. All right? I can yes. use the entire can just to make sure that they don't re-incinerate. That's exactly right. Look at that. I mean, and, and not only are they out, I mean, okay. I mean, they okay. are not even, I mean, they're barely even smoldering. That's what I love about exactly. your product. Look at that. Done. I know. It's fantastic. Man. I want to, uh, I want to go back when guy comes back to yeah, me. I want to show, I want to show what he was talking about his son uh, walking on the beach. Someone just covered a fire with, with sand. And, you know, I'm going to use a road flare and this road flare See, that thing won't even light. That's an emergency <laughs> for you. How good is that thing? And I'll get it going here in a second. Well, I don't know if it's going to light or not. That's all right. But, uh, <laughs> I'm not going to worry about that. Hold on. That's I'm all right. We finished. got you. Hold on. Now here's here's the a backup. I'm going to show what Guy's son had stepping on a hot coal. You know, this is torch just burns 800 degrees. Now, as he was talking about, in your home or whatever, in the wintertime, you have portable heaters. As he was talking about, you want to be able to extinguish a p potential fire or one that's getting out of hand. But look at this. To cool, we will extinguish this torch, and I'll spray the outside. That's brass. And watch how quickly the heat is removed. Wow. Wow, that's pretty that's cool. It. Yeah, literally cool. Yeah. Well, because just so that, you, just because you can't see it doesn't mean it can't still hurt you. And Ron, exactly. <laughs> I, your product is awesome. I appreciate you. Nice Thank work you. there, by the way. Looks like a beautiful day there. We appreciate you, Ron. We'll see that's you. That's awesome. Hopefully see you back here in Thank Florida you. soon. Bye, buddy. I'm looking forward to it. Bye-bye, pal. See you, my Take friend. Care. All right, so when you Thank order, you'll get two of these. If you want to order more than one set and give them to your family, friends, hey, listen, even if you got kids in school and they're in an apartment or a dorm, you know kids, right? Leave something on, it burns. I, would, I will sleep better knowing that my family has got fire aid in the house. It's $27.95. It's on FlexPay. Hey, one more quick thing. If you get the brand new HSN credit card, we'll give you $10 off your first purchase. So you can get these for $17.95. Always a customer pick on hsn.com. Uh, is Fire Aid the get it, get it home, try it. I hope you never have to use it, but remember, it has a five-year shelf life. So buy it, store it, give it a shake, and put out the fire. 682-081. Hey, um, really quickly, I wanted to remind everybody, um, and I know we're kind of all over the place. That's We had so many clever things, we don't even know where we're